El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Come here. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. Hi. Oh, yeah. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking tank? Okay, careful, Danny. What? Carlito's busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, don't be the driver seat. Try and stop me now. Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa. What are you talking about? It's Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we use during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
I'm digging. Ah. Lorenzo, you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. Si! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Ah, enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. Over here. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. <laughs> oh, shit. You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that.
thought dentists were always late. Not this one. I'm having flashbacks here. Yelena, <laughs> the dentist is dead. The morale is safe. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Yes. The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or our business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea coppas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral. So lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. What's the hold up? We gotta make a move on the convoy. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hey, Danny! 
You recruit those farmers here to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. This cold I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. You need us? Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, convoy! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>